coronavirus coverage, though, starts with the Clark County School District. Thank you for joining us. I'm John Langler. With campuses statewide closed, educators hope to use virtual learning instead. However, state officials say CCSD is the only district with no plan for distance education. The problem is thousands of children don't have access to the technology they need at home. Hector Mejia is live outside the Clark County Education Center where the school board held an emergency meeting this morning. Hector. The major challenge here is the digital divide. CCSD Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara said the district would have to buy an additional 120,000 devices for every student in the district to take home. And earlier this morning, the CCSD school board members joined an emergency conference through a phone call. The district finally signed off on a game plan for distance learning around 11 a.m. And here it is. Students can access educational materials online. Those who don't have access to technology can pick up paper packets at CCSD food distribution sites. And here's why the district says they are the last in the state to send their plan. They said they needed the entire school board to make the decision. Plus, they needed to add that learning from home is not guaranteed. For me to sign off to say that each pupil will have distance learning um, that is not something that we can guarantee what i'd like to with the request is that we will do the best that we can to provide distance learning education for our students ccsd is exploring other options including allowing students to check out chromebooks that may be available and possibly mailing assignments home it's also important to note those assignments are not being graded right now, and CCSD still has not announced how the roughly 7,000 seniors will earn their credits for graduation. An announcement is, is expected on Wednesday. There's also no clear plan for senior events such as prom, graduation, and awards. And trustee Daniel, For uh, Daniel Ford, she criticized the board saying they did not move fast enough the entire board also anticipates the economic impact from the coronavirus to also lead to a big shortfall in their in their uh, budget for the upcoming school year. Hector Mejia reporting 8 News Now. Hector, thank you very much.